Hello everyone, this is chapter number 7 of Indian Geography, class 12th. Let's start the chapter. Mineral and Energy Resources India is endowed with a rich variety of mineral resources due to its varied geological structure. The bulk of valuable minerals are products of pre-Paleozoic age and are mainly associated with metamorphic and igneous rocks on the peninsular India. The vast alluvial tract, plain tract of North India is devoid of minerals of economic use. The mineral resource provides the country with necessary base for industrial development and in this chapter we shall discuss the availability of various types of minerals and energy resources in the country. Types of mineral resources On the basis of chemical and physical properties, minerals may be grouped under two main characteristics categories of metal, metallics and non-metallics which may further be classified as follows so in metallic minerals we have ferrous and non-ferrous and in non-metallic we have fuel minerals and non-metallic non minerals other non-metallic minerals such as graphite, limestone and mica as it is clear from the figure the metallic minerals are sources of metals Iron ore, copper, gold produce metal and are included in this category. Metallic minerals are further divided into ferrous and non-ferrous metallic minerals. Ferrous as you know refers to iron. All those minerals which have iron content are ferrous such as iron ore itself and those which do not have iron content but are non-ferrous such as copper, bauxite etc. Non-metallic minerals are either organic in origin such as fossil fuels known as mineral fuels which are derived from the buried animal and plant life such as coal and petroleum. Other type of non-metallic minerals are inorganic in origin such as mica, limestone and graphite. Minerals have certain characteristics. These are unevenly distributed over space. There is inverse relationship in quality and quantity of minerals that is good quality minerals are less in quantity as compared to the low quality minerals. The third main characteristic is that of all minerals are exhaustible over time. These take long to develop geologically and they cannot be replenished immediately at the time of need. Thus they have to be conserved and not misused as they do not have the second crop distribution of minerals in india most of the metallic minerals in india occur in the peninsular plateau region in the old crystalline rocks over 97 percent of coal reserves occur in valleys of damodar son mahanadi and godavari petroleum reserves are located in the sedimentary basins of assam gujarat and mumbai high that is offshore region in arabian sea New reserves have been located in Krishna Godavari and Kaveri basins. Most of the major mineral resources occur to the east of the line linking Mangaluru and Kanpur. Minerals are generally concentrated in three broad belts in India. There may be some sporadic occurrences here and there in isolated pockets. These belts are the northeastern plateau region. This belt covers Chhota Nagpur, Jharkhand, Odisha plateau. West Bengal and parts of Chhattisgarh. Have you ever thought about the reason of major iron and steel industry being located in this region? It is the variety of minerals that is iron, ore, coal, manganese, bauxite, mica. The South Western Plateau region. This belt extends over Karnataka, Goa and contiguous Tamil Nadu uplands and Kerala. This belt is rich in ferrous metals and bauxite. It also contains high-grade iron ore, manganese and limestone. This belt lacks in coal deposits except Nevali, Neveli lignite. This belt does not have a diversified mineral deposits as the northeastern belt. Kerala has deposits of monazite and thorium, bauxite clay. Goa has iron ore deposits. The northwestern region. This belt extends along Aravali in Rajasthan and part of Gujarat and minerals are associated with Dharwar system of rocks. Copper, zinc have been major minerals. Rajasthan is rich in building stones that is sandstone, granite, marble, gypsum and fuller earths deposit are also extensive. 
डोलोमाइट एंड लाइम स्टोन प्रोवाइड रॉ मटेरियल्स फॉर सीमेंट इंडस्ट्री गुजरात इज नोन फॉर इट्स पेट्रोलियम डिपॉजिट्स यू मे नो यू मे नो गुजरात एंड राजस्थान बोथ हैव रिच सोर्सेज ऑफ सॉल्ट द हिमालयन बेल्ट इज एनदर मिनरल बेल्ट विच वेयर कॉपर लेड जिंक कोबॉल्ट एंड टैंगस्टन आर नोन टू अकर दे अकर ऑन बोथ द ईस्टर्न वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स असाम वैली हैज मिनरल ऑयल डिपॉजिट्स बिसाइड्स ऑयल रिसोर्सेज आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन ऑफ शोर एरियाज नियर मुंबई कोस्ट मुंबई हाई इन द फॉलोइंग पेजेस यू विल फाइंड द स्पेशल पैटर्न ऑफ सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट मिनरल्स The first is ferrous mineral. Ferrous minerals such as iron ore, manganese, chromite, etc., provide a strong base for development of metallurgical industries. Our country is well placed in the respect of ferrous minerals, both in reserves and production. Iron ore. India is endowed and with fairly abundant resources of iron ore. It has the largest reserve of iron ore in Asia. The two main types of ore found in the country are hematite and magnetite. It has great demand in international market due to its superior quality. The iron ore mines occur in close proximity to the coal fields in the northeastern plateau region of the country which adds to their advantage. About 95% of the total reserves of iron ore are located in the states of Odisha, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Goa, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu In Odisha iron ore occurs in a series of hill ranges in Sundargarh Mayur Mayurganj and Jhar The important mines are Guru Mahi Sani Sulai Pet Padam Pahar Mayur Bhaj Kiruburu Kendu Jhar and Bonsai that is Sundargarh Similar hill ranges Jharkhand has some of the oldest iron ore mines and most of the iron and steel plants are located around them Most of the important mines such as Noa Mundi and Goa are located in Purbi and Paschimi Singhbhoom districts This belt further extends to Durg Dantewada and Beladila Dali and Rajhara and Durg in durg are the important mines of iron ore in the country in karnataka iron ore deposits occur in sandur hospet area of balari district baba budan hills and kundremukh in chikmangalur district parts of shiv moga chitra durg and tumakuru districts the districts of chandrapur Bhandara and Ratnagiri in Maharashtra Karimnagar and Varangal district of Telangana Kurnool and Chudapa districts Kudapa and Anand Anantapur districts of Andhra Pradesh Salem and Nilgiris districts of Tamil Nadu are other iron mining regions Goa has also emerged as an important producer of iron ore manganese Manganese is an important raw material for smelting of iron ore and also used for manufacturing of ferro alloys. Manganese deposits are found in almost all geological formations. However, it is mainly associated with Dharwar system. Odisha is leading producer of manganese. Major mines in Odisha are located in the central part of the iron ore belt in India, particularly in Bonai, Kendu Jhar, Sundargarh, Gangpur. Koraput Kalahandi and Bolangir Karnataka is another major producer of producer and here the mines are located in Dharwad Bellari Belgavi North Kanara Chikmangalur Shivmogga Chitradurg and Tumakuru Maharashtra also has important producer is also an important producer of manganese which is mined in Nagpur Bhandra and ratnagiri districts the disadvantage to these mines is that they are located far from steel plants the manganese belt of madhya pradesh extends in a belt in balaghat chinda balaghat chindwara nirmar mandla and jabuwa districts telangana goa and jharkhand are other minor producers of manganese 
non ferrous metals india is poorly endowed with non ferrous metals me- metallic minerals except bauxite 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 is the ore which is used in manufacturing of aluminum bauxite is found mainly in tertiary deposits and is associated with laterite rocks occurring extensively either on the plateau or hill ranges of peninsular india and also on the coastal tracts of the country odisha happens to be the largest producer of bauxite kalahandi and sambalpur are the leading producers the other two areas which have been increasing their production are bolangir and koraput the patlands of lohar daga in jharkhand have rich deposits gujarat chatisgarh madhya pradesh and maharashtra are other major producers bhavnagar and jamnagar in gujarat have the major deposits chatisgarh has bauxite deposits in amarkantak plateau while while katni jabalpur area and balaghat in mp have important deposits of bauxite kolaba thane ratnagiri satara pune kolapur in maharashtra are important producers tamil nadu karnataka and goa are minor producers of bauxite copper copper is an indispensable metal in the electrical industry for making wires electric motors transformers generators it is alloyable malleable and ductile it is also mixed with gold to provide strength to jewelry the copper deposits mainly occur in sir singbhum district in jharkhand balaghat district in madhya pradesh and jhunjhunu jhunjhunu and alwar districts of rajasthan i'm really sorry for the pronunciation these words are a little new to me but Uh, i'm still trying to understand and then pronounce if still there is an error in the pronunciation uh, it's deeply regretted minor producers of copper are agni gundala in guntur districts andhra pradesh Chit- chitradurg and hasan districts karnataka and south arcot district of tamil nadu non metallic minerals among the non metallic minerals produced in india mica is the important one The other minerals extracted for local consumption are limestone, dolomite and phosphate. Mica. Mica is mainly used in electrical and electronic industries. It can be split into very thin sheets which are tough and flexible. Mica in India is produced in Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Rajasthan followed by Tamil Nadu. West Bengal and Madhya Pradesh in Jharkhand high quality mica is obtained in belt extending over a distance of about 150 km in length and about 22 km in width in lower Hazari Bagh plateau in Andhra Pradesh Nellore district produces the best quality mica in Rajasthan mica belts extends for about 320 km from Jaipur to Bhilwara and around Udaipur Mica deposits also occur in Mysore and Hasan districts of Karnataka. Coimbatore, Tiruchappalli, Madurai and Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu. Alippe in Kerala and Ratnagiri in Maharashtra. Purulia and Bankura in West Bengal. Energy resources. Mineral fuels are essential for generation of power required by agriculture, industry, transport and other sectors of the economy. mineral fuels like coal petroleum and natural gas known as fossil fuels nuclear energy minerals are the conventional sources of energy these conventional sources of conventional sources are exhaustible so- resources coal coal is one of the most important minerals which is mainly used in generation of thermal power and smelting iron ore Coal occurs in rock sequences mainly of two geological ages namely Gondwana and tertiary deposits. About 80% of the gold deposits in India is of bituminous type and is of non-coking grade. The most important Gondwana coal fields of India located in Damodar Valley they lie in Jharkhand Bengal coal belt and the important coal fields in this region are Raniganj, Jharia, Bokaro, Giridhi 
and Karanpura. Jharia is the largest coal field followed by Raniganj. The other river valleys associated with coal are Godavari, Mahanadi and Son. The most important coal mining centers are Singroli in Madhya Pradesh. Part of Singroli coal field lie in Uttar Pradesh as well. Korba in Chhattisgarh, Talcher and Rampur in Odisha. Chanda Vardha, Kampti and Bandir in Maharashtra. Singarini in Telangana and Pandur in Andhra Pradesh. Tertiary coal occurs in Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya and Nagaland. It is extracted from Darangiri, Chirapunji, Melong and Langrin, Meghalaya. Makum, Jaipur and Nazaria in Upper Assam. Namchik and Namfok in Arunachal Pradesh and Kalakot in Jammu and Kashmir. Besides the brown coal or lignite occur in the coastal areas of Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Gujarat and Jammu and Kashmir. Petroleum Crude petroleum consists of hydrocarbons of liquid and gaseous states varying in chemical composition, color and specific gravity. It is an essential source of energy for all internal combustion engines in automobiles, railways and aircraft. Its numerous byproducts are processed in petrochemical industries such as fertilizer, synthetic rubber, synthetic fiber, medicines, Vaseline, lubricants, wax, soap and cosmetics. Crude petroleum occurs in sedimentary rocks of the tertiary period. Oil exploration and production was systematically taken up after the Oil and Natural Gas Commission was set up. This is the ONGC was set up in 1956. Till then, Digboy in Assam was the only oil producing region but the scenario changed after 1956. In recent years, new oil deposits have been found at the extreme western and eastern parts of the country. In Assam, Digboy, Nagar Katia and Muran are the important oil producing areas. The major oil fields of Gujarat are Ankaleshwar, Kalol, Mehsana, Nawagam, Kosamba and Lunej. Mumbai High, which lies 160 kilometers of Mumbai, was discovered in 1973 and production commenced in 1976. Oil and natural gas have been found in exploratory wells in the Krishna Godavari and Kaveri Basin on the east coast. Oil extracted from the wells is crude oil and contains many impurities. It cannot be used directly. It needs to be refined. There are two types of refineries in India, field-based and market-based. Digboy is an example of field-based and Baroni is an example of market-based refining. Natural Gas Natural gas is found with petroleum deposits and is released when crude oil is brought to the surface. It can be used as a domestic and industrial fuel. It is used as a fuel in power sector to generate electricity for heating purpose industries as raw material in chemical and petrochemical and fertilizer industries. With the expansion of gas infrastructure, the local city gas distribution COD networks, natural gas is also emerging as a preferred transport fuel CNG and cooking fuel PNG at homes. India's major gas reserves are found in the Mumbai High and Allied fields along the west coast which are supplemented by fines in the Kambe Basin. Along the east coast, new reserves of natural gas have been discovered in the Krishna Godavari Basin. Non-conventional energy sources Fossil fuel sources such as coal, petroleum, natural gas and nuclear energy use exhaustible raw materials. Sustainable energy resources are only the renewable energy sources like solar, wind, hydro geothermal and biomass these energy sources are more equitably distributed and environment friendly the non-conventional energy sources will provide more sustained eco-friendly cheaper energy after the initial cost is taken care of nuclear energy resources nuclear energy has emerged as a viable source in recent times Important minerals used for generation of nuclear energy are uranium and thorium. 
यूरेनियम डिपॉजिट्स अकर इन द धारवार रॉक्स जोग्राफिकली यूरेनियम ओवर्स आर नोन टू अकर इन सेवरल लोकेशन अलॉन्ग द सिंग भूम कॉपर बेल्ट इट इज ऑल्सो फाउंड इन उदयपुर अलवर एंड झुंझुनू डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ राजस्थान दुर्ग डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ भंडारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड कुल्लू डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश थोरियम इज मेनली ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम मोनासाइट एंड इलमेनाइट इन द बीच सैंड्स अलॉन्ग विद द कोस्ट ऑफ केरला एंड तमिलनाडु वर्ल्ड्स रिचेस्ट मोनोसाइट डिपॉजिट्स अकर इन द पलक्काड़ एंड कोल्लम डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ केरला नियर विशाखापट्टनम इन आंध्र प्रदेश एंड महानदी रिवर डेल्टा इन उड़ीसा एटॉमिक एनर्जी कमीशन वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट प्रोग्रेस कुड बी मेड ओनली आफ्टर द एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द एटॉमिक एनर्जी इंस्टीट्यूट एट ट्रॉम्बे इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर विच वॉज रीनेम्ड एज द भाभा Baba Atomic Research Center in 1967 The important nuclear power projects are Tarapur Maharashtra Rawat Bhata near Kota Rajasthan Kalpakkam in Tamil Nadu Naroda in Uttar Pradesh Kaiga in Karnataka and Karkarapura in Gujarat Solar energy sun rays tapped in photovoltaic cells may be converted into energy known as solar energy The two effective processes considered to the to be very effective to tap solar energy are photovoltaics and solar thermal technology. Solar thermal technology has some relative advantages over all the other non-renewable energy sources. It is cost competitive, environment friendly and easy to construct. Solar energy is 7% more effective than coal or oil based plants and 10% more effective than nuclear plants. It is generally used more in appliances like heaters crop dryers cookers etc the western part of india has greater potential for the development of solar energy in gujarat and rajasthan wind energy wind energy is absolutely pollution free in our inexhaustible resource of energy the mechanism of energy conversion from blowing wind is simple the kinetic energy of wind through turbines is converted into electrical energy the permanent wind system such as trade winds westerlies and seasonal winds like monsoon have been used as a source of energy besides these local winds land and sea breeze can also be used to produce electricity india already has started generating winds wind energy in rajasthan gujarat maharashtra and karnataka favorable conditions for wind energy exist tidal and wave energy ocean currents are the storehouse of infinite energy since the beginning of 17th and 18th century persistent efforts were made to create a more energy efficient system from the ceaseless tidal waves and ocean current large tidal waves are known to occur along the west coast of india hence india has great potential for development of tidal energies along the coasts but so far these have not been utilized geothermal energy when the magma from the interior of the earth comes out on the surface tremendous heat is released this heat energy can be successfully tapped and converted into electrical energy apart from this the hot water that gushes out through the geyser wells is also used in generation of thermal energy it is popularly known as geothermal energy this energy is now considered to be one of the key energy sources which can be developed as an alternate source the hot springs and geysers are being used since medieval period in india a geothermal energy plant has been commissioned at manikaran in himachal pradesh bioenergy bioenergy refers to energy derived from biological products which include agricultural residues municipal and industrial and other waste bioenergy is potential source of energy conversion it can be converted into electrical energy heat energy or gas for cooking it will also process the waste and garbage and produce energy this will improve economic life and rural of rural areas in developing countries reduce environmental pollution enhance self reliance and reduce pressure on fuel food one such project converting municipal waste into energy 
इज ओखला इन डेली कन्वो कॉन्जर्वेशन ऑफ मिनरल रिसोर्सेज द चैलेंज ऑफ सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट रिक्वायर्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ क्वेस्ट फॉर इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट विद इन्वायरमेंटल कंसर्नस ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स ऑफ रिसोर्स यूज रिजल्ट इन टू जनरेटिंग एनॉर्मस क्वान्टिटी ऑफ वेस्ट एज वेल एज क्रिएट अदर इन्वायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स हैंस फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट कॉल्स फॉर प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ रिसोर्स फॉर द फ्यूचर जनरेशन देर इज एन अर्जेंट नीड टू कंजर्व द रिसोर्स द ऑल्टरनेटिव एनर्जी सोर्स लाइक सोलर पावर विंड वेव जियो थर्मल आर इन एग्जॉस्टेबल रिसोर्स दिस शुड बी डेवलप्ड टू रिप्लेस द एग्जॉस्टेबल रिसोर्स In case of metallic minerals, use of scrap metals will enable recycling of metals. Use of scrap is basically, specially significant in metals like copper, lead, and zinc, in which India's reserves are meager. Use of substitutes for scarce metals may also reduce their consumption. Export of strategic and scarce minerals must be reduced, so that the existing reserve may be used for a longer period. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you everyone for tuning in. This was end of chapter number 7 on mineral resources. Hope you liked the video and do share and subscribe the channel to keep supporting us. Thank you and all the best.